Hi, I'm Azar Majedi. This week was the 20th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall. 20 years ago, at this time, the world was a happier place. People were joyful, thinking that the world after the collapse of the Soviet Union, the Soviet bloc, the fall of the Berlin Wall is going to be, is bound to be a better world more peaceful, more harmony, more equality, more freedom. It did not take very long for people to realize that was only an illusion. It did not take very long for, for them to realize that their hope had turned into despair. Wars broke down everywhere, even in the heart of Europe. What became to be known as the New World Order brought a chaotic order into the whole world. The law of jungle became dominant everywhere. The free market capitalism had the last word in everything and in every aspect of our lives. Everyone was condemned to live alone, isolated, fight for themselves, even for the daily bread. This year, the anniversary of the, tw the 20th anniversary of the fall of Berlin, even though the states in, the, in, in different European countries, the US, the media try to, to bring it, to, to recreate that festive mood of the 20th, 20 years ago, but it was all fake. Even the heads of states could not be very, very excited, only walking through this incredible capitalist crisis that has brought a lot of misery and destitute to millions of people worldwide. If people are a bit luckier in that small part called the Western world, in the rest of the world, millions and millions are dying of hunger. And here, many have lost their jobs, their homes, their livelihood anxious for the future, for the future of their children. And the banks and all these big businesses who've ex who have exploited the people well through these decades know that they are in verge of collapse are being pumped with money, the money that's taken from the people again. What the rulers of the board tried to tell us at the time of the collapse of the Berlin Wall was that that was the end of history. That was the end of socialism, that that was the end of communism. In reality, that was not the end of socialism. It was not the end of history. Everyone knew that the system in the Soviet bloc was only a state capitalism and not socialism. Everyone in their right mind would have been happy to see a wall dismantled, to see a wall that separates a city, a people, to be dismantled. But that was not the point. The point was that the wall that represented, symbolized an oppressive world, but with its collapse, brought even more oppression even more destitute for the majority of the people.
the wall, the collapse of it was not in reality the end of socialism, was not the end of socialism, as Mansur Hikmat wrote more than 10 years ago about this era, but was a glimpse of what a nightmare the end of socialism could really be and what a swamp the world could become without the herald of socialism, the hope of socialism and the dangers of socialism. It became clear that the world, both ruler and the ruled, identified socialism with change. The end of socialism was called the end of history. It became clear that the end of socialism is the end of the expectation for equality and prosperity, of free thinking and progressiveness, and of hope for a better life for humanity. They interpreted the end of socialism as the unchallenged rule of the laws of, of the jungle and the right of might in economics, politics, and culture. And immediately, fascism, racism, chauvinism, ethnocentrism, religion, and bullying spilled out of every crack in society. This was indeed the end of socialism, if it really was the end of it. But even thinking that it was the end of so socialism, the whole world collapsed with all its decent ideas about a better life, about freedom, about equality among all human beings, and not only the legal ones, but the real equality and prosperity for everyone. In the 20th anniversary of the Berlin Wall, everyone sees, everyone is experiencing what the unchallenged rule of capital, the unchallenged rule of capitalism could mean for the world and for the humanity.